Hey YouTube, it's Archaeozoic Pictures, and today I'll just be teaching you how to make a, um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna kind of show you the basics on how to make a YouTube background, so I'm gonna put the link in the description for a template, so once you downloaded that template, you wanna open it up here, okay, I'm just gonna find it quickly. Here we go. There you are, template. So once you've got that, you want to uh, make a new layer above this layer, and you want to uh, click the foreground color, and you want to make this here seventy-five percent. And once you've got that, you want to hold down, click OK, hold down Alt, and press Backspace. Oops, maybe not. Hold down Alt and click in between these two layers. Then hold down Alt and press backspace. Now you want to control and click on this layer and don't take your finger off control and press E. You then want to um Okay. So what you want to do now is you want to double click this layer and you want to give it a stroke and make the stars two, click the colour box, and make this two I 205, make this 100, make this 50, click OK, click OK, I want to make a new layer, control and click this layer and then t don't take your finger off control, <laughs> press E. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to scroll all the way to the top and you want to make a new layer. Alt and click in between the two layers. Get your rectangular marquee tool. Kind of go over the top like that, sort of. Uh, default your colour set. Swap them around. Get your gradient tool. Click this drop down arrow. Click this one. Uh, to from here to. Let's say here. Hold down control and press D to deselect. Then you want to fit it, control and click the layer, leave your finger on control and press E. Then you want to do to repeat this process, except you want to select the elliptical marquee tool, drag it down like that, and just do the same, except you want to get your rectangular marquee tool, hold down Alt, and you want to deselect the top bar, so then this gradient doesn't go over the top bar and only goes over this bit. So now I want to go from the top to let's say here. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, that's alright. Then you want to make the opacity 25. Zoom out. Repeat the process. Why the hell that happened, I really don't know. Because it was obviously an accident. Accident, sorry. So, yeah, 25%. Okay. So, yeah, merge them. I want to double click the layer. Give it a drop shadow. Give it opacity 100. Distance 0. Spread 15 and the size 8. Click OK. Then I want to hold on control and click the new layer button, icon, whatever. You then want to get your rectangular marquee key tool and you want to kind of go around the side like that. Try and get it exact. Yeah, it's alright to me. Fit it. 
then you want to default your color set, click the foreground color, uh, make this one 25, press enter, hold down alt, press backspace, hold down control and press D, get your move tool, and you want to double click it, and you want to do the same as you did for this, so you know, make it two, copy one, wait a minute, I don't know where the fuck that appeared, I'll oh, just download it, Piss off. Um, yeah, so you know. So now all you want to give it is a drop shadow with an opacity of 100 and a distance of 0, a spread of 15, and a size of 8. Click OK. Now that you've got that, you just want to make your text. So get your text tool. I'd use ethnocentric. That's how I pronounce it. Um, make your text color white. Click here and just type in, type your name, and you know, I'm just going to type in my actual name. and put it on the side, so hold our control and press T then you want to make this here minus 90 press enter twice put it here then you want to hold on shift and press left three times and then down three times once you got that you want to kind of do what you did for this right? so I'm not going to go through it because you can just skip back and yeah, I did it. So. But in fact, I'll pause the video and do it then. Okay. Okay. Just in case you might get stuck on this, I'm gonna unpause the video and show. You. So you know, it's just a, a, a base. Just um, kind of do the gloss for where the text is. So do it vertically this time. So just drag it. You know. You Hold on, hold on, you know the process, and if you don't, just remember what I said. Skip back f a couple of minutes or so and see what I've done. Now, let's do this. So, just swap around the colours, you know. Do up to here. Maybe not. Maybe do it a little bit more. I think that looks okay. Yeah, it'll stand out. So just switch back to your move tool. Uh, control and click, merge it, double click. So it's the same process as you did. You went through with that layer, the modules. You know, drop shadow, hundred, zero, one hundred, fifteen, eight. Now we just want to do the same um, in the middle, so you just want to make your text. So since this is the exact same thing as you did for here, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so now you've got all your text. Um, all you want to do now is you... Um, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to put a link in the description to download these uh, flares. So... Yeah. Uh, so then you can... So just before you start this tutorial, start this everything. Just make sure you've got all of the you've downloaded everything within the links in the description. So once you've got these flares, you want to open them. So control O. Um, let's try it again. Yeah. So mine are here. Um, this was just from a friend. These but you just organise them into a folder. But um, there's one I particularly like. Just trying to find it. It's kind of purplish, pinkish sort of colour. I think I saw that. So I, no, it's not that. I'm not sure if it's that one. Or. Hmm. I think it is that. One. Yeah. Let's try this one. No, no, it isn't this one. Um. 
since I... No, no. I'm going to look, keep looking for it. It's definitely there somewhere. I'm just a bit blind, I guess. Hmm. I really don't know. What's this? This is it. Okay. So, once you've got this, you want to drag it into your... You know... Um, document, yeah. So, and you want to make the blend mode linear dodge um, or add. So, um, put some brackets here. Um, and you want to get your eraser tool and you want to kind of raise around these sharp edges. Enough. Just make sure it looks nice. Mm, no mistakes are made. Okay, so once you got that, just got that. You want to hold down control and press T, and you want to make this 90, press enter twice and you want to put this down here somewhere duplicate it, put this one up here somewhere um, then you want to duplicate it again then you want to swap around the angle again as you're going to put it here top of this text instead. Just zoom in to make sure it looks alright. I think it looks alright. Uh, yeah, so duplicate again. Put it down here. Okay, so again, you want to, you just want to continue putting these flares all over the picture. I mean, I can show you how to make wires, but I don't think I have enough time for that. So I'll just leave that for another tutorial. So you can maybe look at that tutorial first, and then look at this one if you want to make, want to make wires, or maybe the other and just watch this tutorial, and then you can save it as a PSD and add some stuff to it once you've got those wires, uh, once the tutorial is up. Now, um, that's about it. So I think the flares do most of the work, as they just look awesome. So just uh, open this up. Um, then you want to hold down control and press I to invert it, depending on what your background colour is going to be. And um, yeah, it's the end of the tutorial. Okay, this is Archaeozoic Pictures, so remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.